Today was absolutely crazy. If you were in the markets, if you're watching it all, today was just fantastic for pretty much all of the miners. We're going to quickly go over some of the favorites of Trade Cave, but first we will talk about the news as to why this may have happened today. This came out a little bit earlier today in the morning here. It says Bitcoin miners may be done selling. Here's what that means. All right, so when Bitcoin miners aren't selling anymore, that means that the, the companies producing the Bitcoin aren't pumping it back into the system, meaning that the pressure for the upward movement of price is heavy on Bitcoin because it is such a hard asset. So we have, take a look here. You can see that this is showing a graph here of Bitcoin miners withdrawing transactions versus price. The price is that green line. The blue line is the miners selling transactions. When there is a peak, that means they are peak selling. And that is when you see price start to dwindle down. You see here peak selling, price dwindling down. Peak selling was here back in like March and we had price kind of drifting down. And now that they are likely done selling from the miners, if the miners aren't selling anymore, one, the miners are going to go up in price and Bitcoin is going to go up in price or vice versa. Bitcoin is going to go up in price. Therefore, the miners will go up in price. That's how that works. Ha. All right, let's take a look at the charts real quick. Bitcoin really didn't do a whole lot today. It was up 0.72%. We are flagging here. This does look like it was now a base down here at $60,000. And we are up in the $63,000 range. We are going to struggle here at 63900 where the 20-day moving average is. Once we get above that, we have a little bit of a fight at the 50-day moving average at 66444 And once we are above that, we're going back into the 70s. And I don't see any reason why we wouldn't, especially if the miners aren't selling any more of their fresh supply. First of all, Mara was amazing today. Take a look at this absolute candle. Oh my God, this is just a Chad candle. 13.7% up today. I mean, we haven't seen a candle like this since May, since May 20th. So it's been a little over a month since we've seen a candle like this. And I told you, I told you when Mara was done doing this descending channel, it was going to break out and did it ever break out? I had some calls that were down almost... 40% today, they are now up 30% in one day. If we can flag up in this area for just a few days and then crush this 2275 uh, level on Marathon, I mean, those are going to be, we're going to be heading to the top of this channel up here in the high 20s, low 30s very, very quickly. So that is exciting. If you're in Mara, congratulations. This thing took off today, is doing wonderfully, and it's not even the best one. Uh, let's take a look at CleanSpark. CleanSpark was up 12.29% today. We went right up to my level. Again, this morning I was talking about the smaller structure here on the two hour, how we were, we were making that descending channel and it would break to the upside. And boy, did it ever do it again today. It broke to the upside. We went, we crushed, we absolutely crushed the 20 and 50 day moving averages today. They are now below us. We hit that $18 level and we got stuck at it. That $18 level is really a difficult one to punch through. We did also contact where there was confluence of this descending channel as well as the 20 day, um, as well as the $18 level here today uh, for Clean Spark. And that's where we decided to close out the day. Uh, so that is going to be the struggle. Clean Spark needs to get above $18. Once it conquers $18 and holds above $18 for a week, you know, at least a week, because I mean, we've seen it hold above it for two, three days, sometimes four, uh, but not a whole week. Once we get it holding above $18 for a whole week, that's when we know we've conquered this thing for good. Uh, and it's going to you start using 18 as support versus resistance. So Clean Spark struggling at 18 still, but having a 12% update, amazing. My Clean Spark shares are singing today. Let's take a look at Bit Digital. Bit Digital is holding up 6.7% today. It is creating a flag here between the 350 and 313 for now. It is likely going to continue to flag there for a little bit unless we get a breakout above 348 where it holds, where it closes and holds above that level, 348. Uh, we're going to continue to flag a little bit. I think we're going to get the 20 just to curling up a little bit. We might contact the, the, the 20 somewhere around 315, 320 at some point in the next week or two. But I do foresee this being a bull flag. And once we break this flat top here at 348-ish level, uh, really we're heading back up towards this yellow line here in the fives once we're done with that on. Bit digital so watch out for that now we could flush down to three dollars again we could even come down and touch the 20-day moving average at 287 it might catch us around 290 292 but largely i am feeling bullish on this move as well and then we got bit farms here bit farms is up four percent today it is coming down it is just above the 20-day moving average right now it is sitting right on that for support it needs to stay above that to continue on in this 
bullish momentum for uh, bit farms. Now you can see the, the RSI is under 50 on the daily. That's not good. The volume has turned red on the uh, red K um, visualizer there, and that's also not good. Uh, but we do need to see this thing hold on the 20, uh, maybe go sideways a few days, let that, that RSI maybe let the volume maybe turn green a little bit. That would be ideal. We see those two things. We see the RSI starting to come up and the uh, volume to flip green there. Then we know that we're heading back to the highs here in the threes. Uh, I do think that once that meeting is done, that riot called, once that actually comes through and is done and, and shows some clarity, I think that's when we'll start seeing some upward movement on BitFarms again. Or if they come out and say, we got a CEO, which is taking them way too long. Come on, guys, get it together. Get your CEO in place. I know it's really hard when they're under attack, but like, I think that would give us some clarity and, and some upward movement in the price when that happens. All right, let's take a look at Riot. Riot was up 8.86% today. It went right up to that $10 level I said it needed to get to, and it closed just above the 20-day moving average. Now we've got the 50-day in our way at 10.23. We're going to conquer that in a few days. I mean, we got out of this descending channel here with force. I want to see another gap. See, this is what I like to call. Let me draw this. Let me draw this. This is what I like to call a gap up and go gap up and go that's what we're looking for here we want to see this thing continue on if we can get some continued momentum to the upside on right i'm gonna go ahead and say that this is a gap up and go and we're likely not stopping till we hit the two day 200 sorry not two day 200 day moving average at 11.57 right now 11.59 excuse me uh that 50 day moving average is going to post some light resistance here we do need to get above that at 10.23 once we conquer that though 11.59 is going to come real fast. We, we, we conquer 11.59, which we failed to do the last two times we came in contact with it, but third time's the charm. We conquer that. We're heading right up to $13 without probably a lot of trouble. We might have come all the way up to like 16 in a matter of days without a lot of trouble um, once we get above that 200-day moving average on Riot. Riot finally showing some moves. Come on, Riot. Give us some good news. Make the moves. Uh, the last one I want to cover today is Cypher. It went up 13.61% today. Uh, it bounce off the 50-day moving average, which it's been doing for a while. It is like the most consistent of all the miners here. It is just building, building, building. The only thing I don't like about that is it is doing a bit of a rising wedge, but it, that rising wedge could play all the way out until next year. So not too concerned about that because it's a huge one. But it is just building up. It is just creating that track up, 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 up. It keeps hitting this green line and falling back down to the 50-day moving average. It's just getting tighter and tighter and tighter until eventually it blows one way or the other. We will see. Uh, but that's doing great there. And if we take a look at the warrants, one thing interesting about the warrants today is that they are actually lagging behind. The warrants were only up 8%. while well, the stock itself was up 13%. Does that mean that tomorrow is going to be a big update for the Cypher warrants? I think it's going to come pretty soon here. I think these warrants will eventually have to catch up to that move. That happened on the underlying stock itself. Uh, so that's all I've got for you today. It was a fantastic day. Go ahead and celebrate this win today. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and have a profitable day.